Hello everyone and welcome back. This is week 4, match 3 of the TNA and backside of the dual WWE Universe mode series. And in today's match, well, this match I guess, the next match, match 3, it is Kurt Angle versus Bobby Roode. And I did check the difficulty and it was wrong, it was a normal difficulty so I've just <laughs> ruined two matches I guess. But anyway, I am going to be Kurt Angle, great, great, great. And no way out 2006 attire. Okay, against Bobby Roode in his BMNE second attire. Okay, so good match. I think this one's already happened as well, but they do like to replay a few matches on Universe Mode. I have seen that happen before. Um, so hopefully this hasn't been done, but I really can't remember. It's been a while since I've recorded. I think it's been a whole week since I've recorded any of this. So yeah, I will just skip to the match now. And we're back in the match, and for a change, this match didn't start off with someone going to the announce table. Ah, <laughs> oh, great, great, great. That just makes me feel like there isn't going to be a cutscene at the end of the match either, but you never know. And now the difficulty has went back up to hard, since it was on normal. So, <laughs> I'm getting beat straight away by a Robert Rude, Bobby Rude, whatever. Um, he's just throwing punches, stop. Good, get on the offense. Yes, drop kick maybe. Can you do the drop kick? I'm not even sure if the drop kick is part of his move set. But uh, Bobby Roode back on the attack anyway, so that didn't last long. And yes, on TNA, Bobby Roode is now in a little rivalry with Austin Aries. Um, at the next pay per view, they will have a match for the World Championship, um, which will be a good match, I think. But as I've already stated, I don't think Austin Aries will do too well in the main event. I think he should stick to um, where he is in the X Division at the minute. I mean, I know he's beat some more Joe and Bully Ray, which are two of the heavyweights and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel like he should stick to X Division where his talent can really exceed, I guess, with all the high flying moves. I mean, some of the bigger guys aren't going to be able to keep up with him. Um, you know, it's it's just not going to happen. Whereas if he does matches with more X Division guys, I mean, Sanjay Dutt has just came back, which is great. I, I think he's a good wrestler and I can't wait to see him in more matches. Um, it'd just be good to see him back in the ring and uh, yeah it would be good to see Austin Aries stick in the um, X Division to have all these good matches I mean you know he'll be able to do more high flying moves more fast paced matches stuff like that and with him apparently it looks like he's gonna move up to the heavyweight side of things full time He's not going to be able to do all of his high flying moves as much, well, more in ring moves, I guess. I mean, there's AJ Styles, who, who is sort of the same build and stuff as him, who can uh, do all the high flying moves, which is good. He'll be able to do some good matches with him. But with people like Bobby Roode, um, will he be able to do all the high flying moves? I don't think so, I'm afraid. So, yeah. I don't think that's going to happen or be as good really so uh, yes mm. Bobby Roode where you playing at <laughs> just beat Austin Aries and make him go back to X Division um, even though it would be good to see Austin Aries with the World Championship I don't think that's going to happen and I might actually lose oh kicked out okay that's good that's fine <laughs> Bobby Roode reversing the Angle slam and well Olympic slam I I should say and then hit the pedigree. I've never actually seen Bobby Roode do the pedigree. I don't think that's right. Um, but I'm not gonna complain. He might do it sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> he could do, but I've never seen him do it. So yeah. Now he got the win as well. It's stupid how you've get you get one chance to kick out, and if you miss, then that's sort of you done for the whole rest of the match. I mean, you would have lost if you missed the pin. 
since it doesn't let you start kicking out straight away, it goes up to the one count, which is stupid. Don't don't bring that over to uh, WWE 13, please. Let us just kick out normally as we did do. It was longer matches then, especially when you're playing online with your friends. It was just good. Whereas now it's like if you hit two finishers, then the bar's too small and you get one chance to kick out, and you just you're not gonna kick out. Um, not as good. I, I like having long matches with friends where you're just involved and it's like, oh, I could win right now, and then you kick out and you just say, ah, but now it's like, yes, I've hit two finishers, oh, well, good game. You know, game over. <laughs> That's it. Full time. Blow the wh whistle. Just <laughs> get stretcher. Well, you wouldn't even need stretcher because the match wouldn't have lasted too long. Just like, ah, oh, well, it was good while it lasted. Let's have another one. Whereas you could have, like, a, a 15, 20 minute match where you hit thousands of finishers on each other and and you still manage to kick out and it's like, what? How long is this match going to go on for? This They could go anyway. But, yeah, my opinion on the on the three count thing, just not, I'm not too fond of it. But let's see if Bobby Roode will miss this one. I mean, re reverse it, will he? No, he won't. Olympic slam hits it, goes for the pin, could go for the pin, yes. Ref count one, two, three, picks up the win. Kurt Angle defeating Bobby Roode by way of pinfall. Will there be a cutscene? We will soon find out. Let us see now. No other one. Oh well. If you enjoyed this match, give it a thumbs up as always. Subscribe above if you would like to see more. Check out Unknown Logic 11. His link will be in the description for the WWE side of things. And other than that, I will see you in the fourth and final match. I will see you then.